Welcome back to Mason Talks. So today I want to talk about a player who I think has superstar potential for this Cleveland Browns offense somewhere down the line. And that player is rookie tight end Harrison Bryant. Yesterday, Bryant was named the Maurice Bassett Browns training camp player of the year. That award is given to the most outstanding rookie performer of Browns camp. So the media looked at it, they factored in everything from these practices, and they decided that in terms of Browns rookies, Harrison Bryant was the best at this year's camp. Now, that of course means that Harrison Bryant at least has some sort of talent. But that's nothing that we didn't know. Because this isn't the first award that Harrison Bryant has won for his tight end abilities. He also won the John Mackey Award for Best Tight End in all of college football back in 2019. Harrison Bryant is a talented player. I frankly think he's one of the most intriguing players on this Cleveland Browns team. Coming into this previous draft, one of the comparisons often used for Harrison Bryant was San Francisco 49ers superstar tight end George Kittle. Now, I know that's a pretty bold comparison, seeing as Kittle is probably the best tight end in all of football. But with his talent, and with the situation he's in, I frankly think that Harrison Bryant can be the next George Kittle for this Cleveland Browns offense. And I think the first thing you need to look at is, quite frankly, the situation that he's in, because it's a pretty good situation. (laughs) He is in a tight end friendly system, and I know that that whole narrative has been worn out through this entire offseason, but it's true. The Browns are going to lean heavily onto 12 personnel using multiple tight ends on the field at the same time. It's probably going to be Austin Hooper and David Njoku for the most part. But in this offense that Kevin Stefanski is bringing from Minnesota to Cleveland, tight ends are going to be a focal point. I don't care if he's the third tight end on the roster. Harrison Bryant is going to be on the field. He's going to be getting snaps. And he's going to be getting route running opportunities. And that's where he thrives. Harrison Bryant is a very talented pass catching tight end. He's going to get opportunities in the Browns 12 personnel Kevin Stefanski two tight end offense whatever you want to call it it's a tight end friendly offense and Harrison Bryant is going to get opportunities within it I also think another factor that's very important in kind of determining what Harrison Bryant's going to do this season is his quarterback because I mean that's a pretty important connection quarterback throws the ball tight ends most of the time catch the ball if your tight end or if your quarterback is good at throwing it's obviously going to help you out in terms of your own production but Baker Mayfield specifically is a quarterback who has oftentimes leaned on his tight ends if you go back to Baker Mayfield's college career one of his favorite targets was Mark Andrews in Baker's first year in the NFL David Njoku was one of the top receivers on that Cleveland Browns team. And even last year, when Baker Mayfield struggled, and when the Browns dealt with situations at the tight end position involving David Njoku, players like Demetrius Harris, Ricky Seals-Jones, and even Steven Carlson still got opportunities because of Baker Mayfield's desire to throw to tight ends. Baker Mayfield's just the type of quarterback who likes to throw to a bigger target. We saw it at times in training camp when he would look to Austin Hooper when the two of them were on the field. And Harrison Bryant also, of course, made some plays with Baker Mayfield on the offense. It's a good system. It's a tight end friendly system. And Baker Mayfield likes throwing to tight ends. So even in his first season... Harrison Bryant is probably going to get decent opportunities to produce. But what I think is key here, and what I think is key in the whole George Kittle comparison, is the fact that he has time to develop. 
Harrison Bryant still has time to develop his skills. He might not be an elite tight end this year simply because Austin Hooper and David Njoku both are in front of him, but he's going to have time to develop his tight end skills. Hooper's going to be the focal point. The Browns obviously still have hope in David Njoku. They're still going to look for David Njoku. Harrison Bryant's probably going to be tight end number three on this roster for a decent portion of the year, and that's okay in my eyes. That just gives him time to adjust to the national football league and oftentimes elite tight ends don't necessarily reach elite levels until a couple of years in the league George Kittle's first elite season arguably wasn't until year two Travis Kelsey's first truly elite season wasn't until his fourth year in the league sometimes tight ends take a little bit more time to develop but that doesn't matter if you have two pretty decent tight ends in front of you. Harrison Bryant, ideally, you know, hoping that injuries don't occur right off the bat, Harrison Bryant ideally is going to have time to develop his skills. He won't be thrust immediately into action. He won't have the weight of the world placed on his shoulders. He'll get opportunities in his rookie year, but he still has time to develop. He still has time to become better, and I frankly think that with all the factors involved, Harrison Bryant has the potential to be the next George Kittle. And if he's able to reach that potential, that obviously is going to mean great things for the Cleveland Browns. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of Harrison Bryant? What are you expecting from him this season? What are you expecting from him for his career? Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.